in the year 2021, it would be pointless to do another Million Man March. Now, first and foremost, before we get into this video, I want to say this. This video is not to disrespect someone's religion. This video is not to disrespect the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, right? No Muslims in no type of way. Um, I want to say that you guys have been doing a good job with the people that you work with um, closely, right? But in the year 2021, I want to say it would be pointless to do another million man march. And the reason why I say this is because of this. When you have one million black men all coming from all around the United States and they might be going to New York or D.C. or wherever they want to have it at. White people, right? White people benefits from it. Now, I know you guys are wondering, how can white people benefit from a, a black million man march? Well, you got to think about all those bus bus tickets to get to New York. You got to think about all those plane tickets to get to New York. You got to think about all the gas that it's going to take for people to get to New York, right? Then when they get to New York, they got to find hotels that are owned by whites to sleep in. Then they got to find food to eat, right? Then they got to find food to eat that's owned by white people, right? And if, even if it's black owned, remember, the black people who are, who are, who are renting the building, Nine times out of ten, pay the white people or Arabic people. So at the end of the day, when we speak this way, a lot of people get in their feelings and a lot of people hate when someone tells the truth and someone just makes sense about the whole scenario. I'm not saying there's an issue with black people coming together, right? And we talking our talk about what we need to do as a people. Listen, it's 2021. We can do that on a cell phone. We can we can make a Facebook group and let's let let let's do a Facebook group and a million black men join the Facebook group. And with the million black men, right, it's gonna it's gonna cost one dollar a month to be in this group. With that one dollar, if you have one million black men donating one dollar a month, right, then that one dollar will start to build um start to build schools, start start to build um grocery stores. Um, st start to build real things that can help the community, you know, to the centers, right? And, and, and when I say start to build, I'm not excluding the white people. I'm saying in 2021, we are getting tired of hearing black men talk. Our parents did it. Their parents did it. And such on and such on. This is why the black church, the numbers are getting lower and lower because people are sick and tired of the talk with no results. With no results. As black people, we must understand all roads lead back to the white man. You can say what you want to say. You can say open a black hospital. Guess what? That black hospital is going to be regulated, right? It, it, it's going to be regulated and is going to have to pay taxes to the white government. You're in the United States of America, right? That black school can be all black you want, but it still benefits the white man because you have to pay taxes to, to operate that school to a white government. And this is why we must open our eyes and we must stop the foolishness and we must stop the hate talk and we must start building as a people. All roads will lead back to the white man. I don't care if it's a black owned business. That black owned business pays pays uh, taxes to the United States government. Right. And when we talk like this, people get mad because they don't want to hear the truth. Right. Another thing why it's pointless to do a million man march in 2021, because when all those blacks get to uh, New York. And we're just using New York as an example. When they get there, they're going to want waters to drink. Their water is, is white owned. No black people own white, uh, 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 own, way, uh, own water, right? On a large scale. 
when I'm speaking, guys, I'm talking on a large scale. I'm not talking about small, little small shit. I'm talking about big boy, big boy, large scale. So when we, so, and at the end of the day, after the Million Man March, and we get each man to donate one dollar, fuck it, two dollars, two dollars from one million people is two million dollars, right? Now, that money should be um, divided up to each individual state, right? It could be 50000 in each state, 20000 whatever the numbers break down to, so much money should go to each state. And with that money, it should open up tutor institutions to start tutoring kids, right? You know, give kids a, a safe haven, somewhere to come and, you know, study and, and do their homework and get help. Like, this is what needs to be done. And what don't need to be done is a whole lot of fronting. All that me, me, and much, everybody come, y'all stand around, I'm going to talk, talk my shit, and then everybody go home, and nothing's done. Nothing's done. Nothing, nothing, no schools are getting created by doing a million man march. No hospitals. No, no, no financial literacy is being taught, right? It's being taught by the million man march. You get one, two people up there talk, oh, them the Messiah, this and that, and then what? Everybody go back home and work for the white man. Pay taxes to the white man. Live on the white man's land. Yeah, you own your house, but who do you pay taxes to? You pay taxes on your house to the United States government. And this is why I say, stop the foolishness. Let's do tangible things that's going to help the black community. All that silly talk does nothing at all. 2021 is about action. It's about getting up. It's about reading. It's about studying. It's about uh, trying to level up as a man or a woman. It's about uh, working hard. It's about opening uh, businesses, LLCs, placing yourself around people who you can learn things from. And I mean the real truth. No hate talk. People who is going to teach you the real game. So I just wanted to make this video, man, just to let y'all know, man. Um, It's pointless to do that. Because you will have these people talk about they hate the white man is, don't support the white man, keep it black owned. But you calling for a million man march and all that money from a million black people benefits white people trying to get to a place for nothing. Right? You got to think. You call for a million man march from a million black men. A million black men come, right? Let's say each, each, uh, you know, a low number. Let's say it costs ten dollars for each black each black man to get there. This is freight. This is planes, gas, buses. That's ten million that the white man has made off your so-called black movement. Let's say it costs a hundred dollars for each for each black man to get there. That's a hundred million. That the so-called white man that y'all hate has made off your black movement. Yeah. I, I'm hoping this video is making sense to you. Because I'm not on this video cussing. I'm not on this video saying, hate the black man, hate the white. No. When I speak, I want to try to speak intelligent. And I want to make sense. I want to break it down. You know, break it down all the way down to where you, you can see what I'm saying. The Million Man March... We might get $100,000 in donations from the million man, but the white man gets $100 million. <sighs> All roads lead back to the white man. In 2021, we don't want to march. We don't want to protest. We want to work. We want to put those footsteps in, and we want to do real things that's really going to help the black community, and we done talking. So with all due respect, we don't need another million man march. We need a million black men ready to donate and ready to build and ready to work. Peace.